Robin Hood. Well, I've seen the cartoons as a kid, loved them. I've seen both uh, movies in my generation with Kevin Costner and Russell Crowe. I enjoyed them. And I've just been listening to a documentary right now about it. And it doesn't look like he actually existed. I mean, I'm sure he did, but I mean, as far as trying to pin it down to an individual, no. But there is one Robin Hood I know for sure that was real, was Janosik of Slovakia fame. My wife is from Slovakia, and Janosik used to steal from the rich. You see, the Hungarians or the, the Hungarians used to rule over the Slovaks, and uh, I guess um, they hurt his father or his girlfriend's father, and that was it for Janosik. And uh, I guess he even um, supposedly killed himself by he was going to be hanged on a hook of all things, right? And he actually was dancing before that actually happened and jumped and it got him right through the rib and he died that way so he died on his own terms but um, I mean it's good to believe in um, an outlaw that works for the little guy right like in this day and age where politicians are bought off all the time it's nice to think that there could be somebody in the inside maybe that's helping us out right I saw the movie um, Catch Me If You Can, and it's interesting how much that guy got done, even before the age of 20, uh, how many forged checks he made and stuff, the millions he was making, and then it turns out now he's making millions from corporations to teach them how to be more secure, even writing, making checks to be more secure. So. It really does pay to be a hacker. I, I think I have a hacker personality, even though I don't, I'm not a computer hacker, I don't know programming languages, even though I would like to, but I can't seem to concentrate for long enough to get around to it. So, <clears throat> it'd be nice to think that uh, someone could hack some of these corporations, right? And, and well, not really hack so much as, like to take away money from them, but, like, I forget the movie, but it was with Richard Pryor where he was... Uh, taking away half a penny or something from somewhere like stuff like that is interesting right like stuff that people wouldn't even miss and if you skim a penny away from everybody you know you'll make millions and they won't even notice so I don't know who the modern day equivalent would be to Robin Hood but I guess it's anyone who takes on the establishment, right? And it's hard to take on the establishment because the establishment would like to stop you before that ever happens, and especially before you get any notoriety. The Barefoot Bandit just got caught, you know, and he's lucky he's young enough now. He won't face much jail time probably, so. Um, but, you know, he's got his life made and set now. He could write a book, and, uh, again, he could do like the guy did in the movie uh, Catch Me If You Can, he could work for corporations to try to make them more secure. <laughs> Some security systems and stuff like that. So, like I say, it pays to be a hacker, and Robin Hood was a medieval hacker, I believe. <laughs>